Aquarius, how you doing? My name is Michelle. I hope you all are well and I'm wishing you all the very, very best. I love you to life, Aquarius Nation. I hope this message finds you feeling blessed up and well. Let's get right into an energy reading. But I do have uh, these two cards that have come out for the week, right? We have the abundance with the number 88 and we have environment with the number 44. So I just want to let you know that that's lingering in the background. This has been our overall energy clearing up, you know, our space, um, being conscientious about yeah, eating well, um, taking care of ourselves and making healthy decisions from the inside out. Not only for the earth, environment, and, um, you know, your space, um, environmental-wise, like your workspace, your home space, your kitchen space, your, you know, <laughs> your garden space and all of that, but also in regards to your temple, making healthy decisions for yourself, right? Healthy routines, healthy choices, um, all of this helps to bring in that abundance, okay? It helps to bring in what we really want um, in regards to our manifestations, in regards to what we are alchemizing. Now, I did get a message, um, and for somebody here, there's a message regarding Oshun, um, O-S-H-U-N. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Oshun. So, all right. There could be a Leo involved here or you have fire in your chart, but I'm looking at August. Okay. So you could have Virgo in your chart, but the message Oshun, um, it's a deity or an Orisha that is here that you may be cultivating blessings from, or you could be making offerings to Oshun. Um, water, salt, cinnamon, sugar. You could be um, manifesting through the Oshun uh, energy, all right? Or some of you are you're connected to Oshun in some way. Um, the colors white, yellow, and gold are coming to mind. Also, uh, there's the energy here of love, nurturing, and protection. All right. Talks about birthing something new, right? The number 17 is very significant, which breaks down to an eight. And we do have the eight on the abundance card, right? Um yeah, so 17 may be significant for you. 17, 71. You could be birthing something new, okay? Um, so this card wanted to come out. Look at this. Justice. <laughs> and financial health. Wow. So, uh, yeah, those are the cards that are out. Bottom of the deck. Blessings. Okay, <laughs> I love it when my guys put it together like this, all right? Um, in the past, something was a little imbalanced. Something was, you know, not all the way kosher, although it may have seemed like it, felt like it. It was not. It almost feels like whatever this was, in the beginning, there was tribulation, trials. In the beginning, there was, you know, like I said, it looked good. But it caused an imbalance here. Especially with the financial health card being right next to the justice. Like, that's not just, that's not fair is what I'm getting. Now, recently you may have gone through something like this. Okay? Trying to balance out the scales when it comes to your financial... Um, abundance, you know, your financial health, all right? Some of you, there may have been some type of shakeup when it comes to work, because whenever I see like the tree like this, it always gives me purpose. It's like what your soul was is here to meant to do, 
Oshun, because she keeps coming through, um, the divine feminine presence is definitely in your life for whomever I am resonating with. Only take the message as it resonates and as it applies. These are never gender specific. Everybody is welcome here. But only take the message as it applies. Don't put it in your life if it's not a part of it. I'm getting that the divine feminine presence is here to help you recreate and build up your financial wealth, your financial health. Now, or balance it out. Balance out your life in some way. Balance out your books in some way. Balance out your energy in some way. The tree is also giving me Gaia. Like I said, um, the tree of life is purposeful. <coughs> Something may have been lopsided, crooked, or imbalanced. And now things are be made, being made right. Okay? You have blessings coming in here. <laughs> and so, again, the Oshun energy talks about, you know, birthing something new, creating something new, bringing something to life. And it could be something that you never, ever thought of doing before. And you are going to be doing this, creating this, um, practicing this. Or it could be something that you left a long time ago. You know, an ideal that you had long, 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 long time ago. It could have even been in another life at some point, another timeline. And now it's going to be brought up to be recreated or something like that. Um, for some of you, this is just that um, your guides um, want you to have what's just and rightfully yours. Okay, let's, uh, let's see. Personal readings are available if you're interested, Aquarius. That information can be found below, as well as the link to the membership, if you're interested in that. Spirit angels and ancestors, a clear and accurate message for Aquarius placements. Aquarius nation, what's going on with this here? education you may need to take a class or do some research to find a better position or you may find yourself writing a book teaching others there's also an energy here investing yourself okay invest maybe investing in your uh in furthering your education or take a risk on yourself is also what i'm getting here So there's knowledge to be had from um, Oshun as well, or this this system, okay? This, um, you know, justice can talk about the law, right? And the law can talk about the universe. The universe bringing you um, some type of knowledge, okay? Because I'm seeing that in my mind's eye. I'm seeing, um, <clears throat> have you ever been on TikTok? And you've been in a, have you ever been in a live? They have different gifts that you can offer uh, for people, different gift awards uh, or rewards, right? And they have one called Universe. Um, and if you've ever been in one of those lives where you see the gifts, they kind of like pop up and they like almost like come through the screen in 3D or 5d or whatever and just like okay or like the universe which is what i'm seeing it just flies through and it's like whoa i'm getting this energy here that the universe is gifting you with some type of knowledge that is purposeful all right or oshun the divine feminine presence is here to give you some knowledge that is purposeful is what I'm getting intuitively. 
Let's see what else we get um, over this financial health. So you could be creating something new using a source of information that is being given to you regarding a download of some sort, okay? Um, it's going to help you get ahead. It's going to help you make progress. It's going to help you get ahead, all right? But it, it's a journey. Um, so I feel like something that you're starting now is going to actually stick. It seems like a long slog at first, but your efforts will pay off soon. Stay the course for at least a few months and see what kind of magical change is going to take place for you, okay? <clears throat> so like I mentioned, there's an energy here where your guides are leading you, guiding you, protecting you, and giving you this um, purposeful information so that you can move forward. Okay, in a positive way, making changes along the way or even creating something new. All right. Now, you may have been on this journey for a little while now already, but again, blessings are coming in, right? So it's like seasons are changing, right? Like there's a cycle that's closing out here. Okay, yeah, offerings. Ooh, ooh, yeah. When we talk about Oshun, which is the, you know, the Orisha that came through, but it could be, you know, another one that you're dealing with, you know, that you're um, dealing with or making offerings with. Spirit is saying, don't forget to give this um, Orisha or deity, deity, however you pronounce it, their offering, your people, don't forget to give them their offerings, Okay. If they like coffee, make sure they have coffee, all right? If they like, um, you know, grinded coffee or whole bean, make sure they have that. You will be offered a new position. Um, now, you could also be given, again, some purposeful information about where to put your money, where to invest, Where to invest your time, your energy. There's this energy here where a new investment or offering is on the table for you. Um, it's, it's very profitable. Spirit wants you to think about it before you make any, you know, um, commitments. Make sure you do your due diligence when it pertains to investigating. When it pertains to researching. Because it may or may not be for you. You know what I'm saying? But the right thing is coming towards you. Is um, what I'm getting here. There's some sort of blessing in the sky. You may. You may literally turn this down. And something better comes in. I don't know. Yeah. Strategizing here about the long game yeah I feel like you're taking the necessary steps here okay I also feel that um, action is key don't allow certain opportunities to pass you by don't judge a book by its cover all right there's a practical step-by-step -step plan that is needed here Um, your guides are trying to take you, again, with progress here, help you to move forward and take you to the next level. Okay, one step at a time with a practical plan. Somebody is around you. There's an energy, a spirit, or an actual person, or all three around you that wants to give you this assistance to help you get far when it comes to career. Let's see, what is this spirit, please? What's the offering? Oh, the offering is the crown. Mm -hmm. The offering talks about wealth, 
the offering talks about overcoming obstacles with mindfulness, okay? Somebody's mind is being full. Somebody's, um, whatever you've been manifesting, there's some sort of fullness happening so that you can get to where you need to be um, with confidence is what I feel. Some of you, you're becoming your own boss or you already have been. You are working um, your own entrepreneurship, okay? And you're, you're, you're walking like a boss, talking like a boss, taking charge. And this is a serious, serious thing close to your heart. Um, and there's progress being made here. Like I mentioned, there's some type of wealth mindset and um, energy connected to this offering. So like I said, Make sure you give your people your there what they want, okay? All right. Also, I'm getting there are downloads, okay? Intuition, um, crown chakra energy, aha moments, ideas, knowledge, okay? That's coming towards you. Spirit wants you to grab hold of, you know, that information. It's going to help you. Look at this. It's going to help you progress. It's going to help you get the buried treasure here with this long game strategy. Spirit is trying to get you this worry-free finances, money in the reserves, excess. This is more than enough, okay? More than enough for you, your family, generations to come. More than enough for you to help others, okay? This is being an executive. This is, um, you know some type of hidden talent that your guys are helping you to receive as well so that you could take these steps so that you can create this new thing in your life all right spirit is saying don't just you know don't just think about it be about it okay there's steps that need to take Action steps, okay? Um, step away from any, you know, self-restrictions, re limited beliefs and things like that. Step away from that. All right? You're, 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 you, you're being given the direction. You're being given protection as well with Oshun. Oshun is coming through to nurture you, love you, and pour into you so you can pour into your future. You can pour into this beautiful thing that's um, being created here, okay? Yeah, because that's what it is. Um, Spirit wants you to move away from some type of past memory of thievery, deception, people getting over on you, stealing from you. Yeah, see, it's in your thoughts. You see, thief and thoughts from the past, some type of injustice. Like I said, justice came out, but it's talking about some injustice that happened in the past. Spirit wants you to step away from that. Leave that in the past and move forward. Have progress forward. That's why Oshun is coming through. Progress. Mm-hmm. The progress card is getting great fortune. They want to award you. They want to give you this beautiful, abundant energy. Okay. This could even be fame, stardom, rewards, and a, an award. Okay. This is you winning. This is you saying, I want to give thanks to my ancestors who helped me and watched over me. When no one else believed in me, it's that kind of acceptance speech, okay? To the fire. Yes, yes, and yes. All right, the 26, abundance. That's what's here. That's what's coming towards you. Oshu wanted me to give you the message. I hope it was helpful. Until next time, take care and be well, Aquarius. Namaste.